Hello guys, Dyla from Homesthetics here. For today's video, we're going to paint flowers. We have seven different types of flowers to paint, all of them extremely easy to realize and beginner friendly. I invite you all to give your favorite flower a try after the video. In this video, I will be painting with Holbein watercolor and Princeton Velvet Touch Petals brush. Without further ado, let's begin. The first flower is that of lavender. We will simply take some rich purple paint and using the tip of the brush we will create the flowers. The body of the lavender we will be painting easily with a bit of light green. The second flower on the list is a rose, the most iconic flower there is probably. For the rose, we will start from the center of the flower and paint outwards, painting each petals one by one. It's important to keep your brush wet throughout the process. This will ensure the watercolor look to the rose, but will also define the edges of each petal far easier. The third flower on the list is the calendula, quite popular that we will also paint from the center of the flower outwards. using the tip of the brush to create texture on each petal and make it appear a bit more three-dimensional. In the last step, we will be painting the stem and a little second flower on its left. The fourth flower you will really like because it's extremely simple and equally beautiful. We will paint berry flowers. We paint the stem. Feel free to make the berry stem as full as you'd like, but do leave some space in between so we can add the flowers and still maintain a healthy white balance.
After the stem, with a rich purple, we simply add the flowers with the tip of the brush. Nothing easier, job done! Don't go just yet though, because the secure flower is enough too. We will start by painting five petals with the tip of the brush. Rinse and repeat the process three to five times. And after they're a bit dried out, connect the flowers with a petite branch. the anthers to the center and voila! The sixth flower, the agapanthus, we will paint stem first. And 
and stem that explodes radially to create a spherical brush-like volume. After the stem is created, we will simply paint the flowers with the brush tip and purple. Notice how the principle is very similar to the berry flowers, but the look is completely different, mainly due to the stem shape. For the last flower in this video, the periwinkle, we will start painting the petals using a light blue. Let's paint a second flower and carefully unite them with a stem and leaf. them dry a bit, and in the last step, we will be painting the anther slowly. And here we are guys, thank you so much for watching! What's your favorite flower to paint?